Watch Update, special reports with Leslie Garrett, featuring interviews with America's top doctors and business leaders. Hi, everybody. I'm Leslie Garrett. Today we're in Manhattan on 72nd Street at America's Doctor, Dr. Isidore Rosenfeld. And we're discussing Hot Off the Presses, his brand new book, Doctor of the Heart. Stay with us. From Walter Matthau to Sophia Loren, Dr. Isidore Rosenfeld has a stellar clientele. Dr. Rosenfeld was appointed to the President's Advisory Committee on Aging in 2005. He served on several task forces in cardiology for both Democratic and Republican Secretaries of Health. This is the first time I have seen this book. It just arrived this moment by messenger. This is such an exciting time. How does it feel to have the gestation period of this book be over and, and see the copy of the book for the first time? It's very, very exciting, I have to tell you. Exactly. This is my 12th book, but this is the most exciting moment <laughs> in my writing career because this is not only for my readers, it's for my family, for my children. Without giving away too many secrets of the book, what are some of the chapters about? Well, there's 26 or 28 chapters, each one with not only a story, but a message. It's an autobiography. And I have to tell you, Leslie, that the, the main thing in this book is not the story of my career. It's a dramatic account, I think, of how medicine has changed in the last 50 years. And the message I try to leave in this book is that all the th so many things that were hopeless years ago are now preventable, treatable, or curable. Dr. Rosenfeld, what will help us become more proactive in our own health care? In the book, I, I emphasize actual details of prevention. You see, the key today is prevention. When I went to medical school, there was so little you could do for people that the emphasis on my education was how to make a diagnosis. Once you made a diagnosis, you know, you kept your fingers crossed to see if there was anything you could do about treating it. And in most cases, there wasn't. A doctor, simply, it was mostly the art of medicine, supporting people emotionally. And that's changed, and I think the, my readers will, will appreciate that, because now you come to a doctor, they hardly ever spend time talking with you. All they want to do is tests and tell from the test what your th problem is and how to treat it. So you fill out a form in the waiting room, somebody comes in and takes your blood pressure, and you have exactly two minutes to talk with your doctor. That, I think, is too bad. And I emphasize the need now that we know how to prevent disease, how important it is for people to spend time with their doctors. And in this book, I give examples of how spending such time will make a difference. The most important thing, in my view, in medicine today, as I've said before, is prevention. We have wonderful treatments. We have wonderful diagnostic tests. But you want to prevent them, and you can prevent them. You can't prevent heart disease. There are many cancers you can prevent. There are many neurological diseases you can prevent if you know how to do it. Next time, watch Real Estate Update with Leslie Garrett. Check your local listings for Update with Leslie Garrett or go to www.leslie.com to be continued.